Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to our Monday edition video, going to be a continuation of how to Narai. Today we're going to be talking about how to do the CV run, and ideally you want to do that with a cruiser, and so we're here with the Tier 7 British Light Cruiser HMS Fiji. So, I'm going to discuss two options with doing the CV run. The one I'm going to be doing now is a very aggressive CV run where you're going for the damage, uh, you're farming, trying to get uh, much damage dealt as possible, okay? That's the aggressive and dangerous, per se, because you can mess it up. The other is I'll highlight different stopping points um, where you can be more safer. We can slow down. You don't have to be as fast in this aggressive run that I'm going to do because there's a few things I see players uh, struggle with that maybe the aggressive run uh, is not necessarily for you. This battle, I think, was my third or fourth attempt at uh, doing this uh, speed run, if you will. Um, the Fiji is really good for it. The Weimar, the Tier 7 German light cruiser, is the best for it now because of the torpedoes. Um, gets more torpedoes than what we do here on Fiji, uh, 2x3 racks, but it is possible to do with Fiji. Fiji is a really strong uh, tier 7 uh, cruiser. Now, one of the things that is nice, ideally, if you're in Fiji, if you get to spawn closer to these first three ships, the, you can get some uh, really good uh, damage, like you can break 20, 25, maybe even 30k. Just being closer, you can get citadels more easily on the uh, tier 4 cruiser, which is already dead, you get some good pin damage here on the Wyoming, and be able to slap the Clemson at close range. So we're slowing down here, we're going to uh, shoot this Emerald, he's showing us perfect broadside for us to do something like 5 Citadels. <laughs> this Emerald needs a pay raise. <laughs> um, so it's an easy damage that you can pretty much uh, kill secure, so uh, very quickly that puts us up to 47,000 damage. Then you have this uh, Nicholas that's coming up the mid. We can do some damage on him as well. So one option would be you don't actually go this aggressive. You can kind of chill back just before I pass this island here on the right. And you can shoot the Nicholas more nose on. Um, but we're going to keep pushing um, because we're being very aggressive on this route. Um, I'll say this, I've probably said this in all the videos so far, ideally the battleships are to go down mid, they're to protect the convoy. Battleships shouldn't be going for the transports, and they shouldn't be going for the carrier. This puts them out of position really quickly. Ideally the higher DPM, like you have on a cruiser, is really is what's made uh, for running here. Now I'm just spamming torpedoes here, because there's a Dallas that's going to come out, but these torpedoes are going to end up being a little bit early. If you want to play a little more safer, you just stop here and you smoke up um, once the Dallas appears and you can deal damage with him. You can get damage on the Missouri and the other cruisers that come out. Um, but we're going to keep going, okay? This is part of the speed run and getting a lot of damage because it's possible to do a lot of damage uh, here in Narai on doing the CV run in particular. When you see Weimars doing this run, it's almost like you might as well just log out <laughs> of the battle because they could just wreck and then it's just uh, hard to get any good earnings. So the goal is to wreck that Dallas with the torpedoes. This run can be a little bit more on the robotic per se side. And when I say robotic, I mean timing everything out uh, when the Dallas appears. Um, where to, how to launch the torpedoes. Uh, the difference with launching torpedoes here is it's best to do the single launch torpedoes, which I think I have to critique myself on uh, here, maybe against the Missouri. But we're still pushing up, um, seeing maybe if we can get the Dallas or not, but we're gonna keep focusing uh, the Emil here, because we should be able to do decent to damage to him. A little aimed further behind. So the goal is, while you're doing the CV run, you're kind of supporting your team. Now here, I should have just single launched the torpedoes. I should not have fanned them out. Uh, much greater chance of being able to hit the Missouri if we single launch all those three torpedoes in a conga line, uh, essentially. So you can see getting up on the side helps us get more damage to these cruisers that push out. Here I have the time to actually go ahead and smoke up. Um, one of the things that we're gaming almost on a monthly basis keeps touching, tweaking Narai. This was, I think, from the end of last year. Um, 
but I can't quite remember. I couldn't find my post battle results actually uh, for this battle. I looked really hard. I looked in multiple folders and Discord, all things like that. Couldn't find it. Um, but uh, here you can see with the single launch torpedoes would have definitely all of them would have landed. We missed one on the third. So if I would have gotten a third torpedo hit there, our damage would have been even higher. I'm not gonna tell you how much damage we're gonna do yet because it's going to be a lot. So about to the point where we can go ahead and speed up. Um, as you can see, we're accelerating out. He's about to die. The thing about the Missouri being the little trouble is if you're not careful, you can just get smashed by the Missouri as a, a light cruiser. So as I was saying, Wargaming keeps touching and messing with things. So that sometimes they change the, the pathing. Uh, both Missouri, it's, they turn where Missouri can turn the radar on or not turn it on. Um, so I was looking at a different clip where I did 416,000 damage, and in that clip, the radar uh, was on with Missouri. This point is where a lot of players uh, str can struggle with, okay? When you're moving up around this island, you have a destroyer that leads the Phoenix and the Lexington, uh, and you have to deal with him. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, players struggle, and they just get instant deleted by this destroyer. I've had that happen to me two or three times uh, while working on this run, um, or just doing the CV run in general. The safe route, the safer option, instead of me just yellowing the corner of this island, is almost where the King George is at on the mini map, just a little bit more to the beneath him, to the right, and his right. Um, you can just chill out at a distance with your hydroacoustic search, and you can safely kill the destroyer before he's able uh, to get up on you. Okay, that's the safe route. Here we're being aggressive. We're not doing what I would deem this necessarily safe. So we're gonna pop out here, and our timing is so early that we actually we have a bit of good distance. Okay, for the Nicholas to get torpedoes off onto us, he has to turn. He's not really gonna turn. He's already smoking up, so that means we're not gonna be able to see the Lexington. You can actually see the Phoenix is going out into the harbor. Usually the Phoenix comes up the channel or uh, this way towards me as well. Um, he's not in this instance, which actually is okay. Phoenix has torpedoes as well, so that's another reason you have to be careful. Um, I've seen players get deleted by the Phoenix's torpedoes. But the Phoenix has taken a safer route, and we can do a lot of damage to him with him showing his broadside because uh, he has a rather vulnerable citadel. So we're going to pop Hydroacoustic Search. Um, just as I pop it, we see the Lexington here. Okay, we're at 168,000 damage. We're gonna ride the line here, the map border a bit. I'm not worried about single launching torpedoes here. if They're all gonna hit regardless, and I want it to fan out a bit so it's not just a bunch of damage saturation per se. But this King George is gonna try to steal our Lexington kill, but he's not able to. We manage uh, to get it just in time. And being here in this position, now we get to use the Nicholas's smoke. Okay, we don't have to burn our own smoke here in this situation. Uh, I think I'm going to probably coast out a little bit right here, and then we're going to coast back in. Because um, one of the things you have to be mindful of is when you're entering the port is you don't want to accidentally eat a couple torpedoes, because that can really take away a lot of your health. Ideally, I should already have been popped to heal here, uh, but I have not at this point in time. Okay, so we're going to just keep going. The idea is just to run, 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 as much as damage as possible. Uh, there's a Dallas on the mini map. He's off to the right. I didn't quite catch that until that point, so that's why you see I'm just now turning my guns over to him. But if we get some citadels on him, uh, or some decent damage, yeah, there we go, 7,100, uh, we'll be able to increase these damage numbers up, which are already at 2,229. And now, basically, I'm setting up for the enemy destroyer that is going to spawn um, in front of us, but there's also going to be a battleship that spawns here. It hasn't been triggered yet. Um, I think this is where the timing comes in, uh, but also once that sh last ship in the harbor is eliminated, that might be the point I'm thinking of. Uh, I'm a little unsure. I don't quite remember. So here we go. You can see we're really close to this Bretang, and now we're just going to simply launch our torpedoes and we're going to single launch them. That is what's best to do here. And get a salvo off into his side, 11,000. Means he should be dead. Now we're gonna turn our attention to the Indian, uh, not the Indianapolis, sorry, the Omaha. Indianapolis hasn't spawned yet. The Omaha, super vulnerable citadel, very large citadel. 
So we're just going to soak his health up. <laughs> so now it's going to put us over 300,000 damage. Then we're going to deal with the Farragut. We're going to get rid of him. He can be pesky. Don't have to worry about his uh, any type of torpedoes. Though I don't think he fires torpedoes this early. It's not until he gets uh, further past uh, this opening of these two islands on the right. Get rid of him. Now we're going to deal with the New York. And so we're going to focus more that bow area where we can maybe more easily punch through. There you can see the rear turrets, it was non-penetrations. Um, so, still I'm aiming in a not a good area. Uh, we have the one destroyer that spawns on our side. We don't have to worry about him. I'm really trying to finish off this New York. But we're going to focus attention to the Indianapolis. And we're going to, I'm going to show you where his broadside, or his broadside, his citadel area is. Uh, you can see when I do go to focus on him. Not sure where I'm still waiting. Um, that's a good, good salvo, 12,000. It's this gap, um, which I'm aiming just a little bit ahead of, right in there. That's where his citadel is. And so, four citadels, that puts us 364,000 damage. And now we're going to get our torpedoes off on the Queen Elizabeth. The thing with Weimar is that it has additional set of torpedoes on each side. Um, so that is why Weimar is a bit stronger here. But in this position, we can instantly start slapping the Atlanta, the Shores, because we're on their broadside, right? Um, so that already puts us over 420,000 damage uh, with getting those two kills simultaneously. We can start smacking the Shores. Our damage is only going to go up here. This run doesn't quite work all the time because it is really aggressive. You have to be smart in how you're playing here. And we're gonna use four torpedoes here. And you might be thinking, Flimsy, you only get three torpedoes on each side with the Fiji. Yes, the fourth and final torpedo is the ship itself. <laughs> so you actually wanna take the Ram flag. So we're gonna throw all those torpedoes into the side and then we're just gonna park right in front of him, this little boop, and get that extra little bit of damage, bringing us to 487,000 damage. Now, believe it or not, it's very easy to break through 500,000 damage. If I would have got that extra torpedo on the Missouri, we would have had it. It's also very easy to, oh, not easy. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible to break 600,000 damage here in our ride. Um, the Fiji numbers I've seen have always been like uh, optimum damage numbers is over the 500,000. Um, it's the very high end. The Y mark is the one I think that usually breaks more of the 600,000 because of having that extra set of torpedoes. Uh, in addition to the engine boost, that's what makes the Weimar uh, so powerful and strong because you can just sprint basically down to where that Nicholas, Phoenix, and Lexington are, and you have plenty of time to handle them, okay? So unfortunately, I did not have the post-battle results. I really looked hard for them. I spent like a half hour trying to find them. Um, but apparently I didn't save any screenshots from this, or if I did, I just can't find them anywhere. But 487,000 damage. Uh, we're gonna have 40 citadels, 40 black ribbons, 13 destroyed ribbons, uh, 13 torpedo hits, uh, five floodings, and even we, we get to put the secondary battery of the Fiji to work, okay? This, again, this run is a aggressive CV run. So now I'm gonna show you a safer PG run, okay? Uh, originally, I was just only gonna show that first clip, but I was like, you know what? I have another clip here that shows more of those different points I was saying you can slow down and stop at, um, and you can still uh, do good damage. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it now. Uh, I'd hate to just end up having to do this again later. So um, we'll take the time now, make the video longer, and then I can just have game one, game two kind of thing. Uh, with different names. So this is the safer Fiji run. Uh, as traditional, when you're typically playing this app, you want to let your team know, hey, I'm going to do the CV run. Um, so then hopefully uh, people will respect you uh, doing the CV run. I'm doing some things off game, so that's kind of why the sound um, is, or off screen, that is why the sound was um, disappearing a little bit more there, okay? So this is what I was talking about. If you want to get more damage at the start, you want to get closer uh, versus where I was being further away. So we're more likely to get those black ribbons here on uh, the tier four cruiser. And then we're going to focus attention to the Wyoming. Yep, so <laughs> still even at this range, we can do really good. And still focusing Wyoming. He's going to go behind the rock. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to uh, the Clemson. See if we can't get rid of him. 
I'm also paying attention to the four up here. Uh, so wanting to help my team out with that uh, versus the more aggressive selfish run uh, per se. So at this close we can do uh, really good damage. If you're further away, let's, I don't know, like nine, 10 kilometers, it's harder to do significant damage uh, to the forts. So now we're gonna switch our attention back on the Wyoming and then we'll switch attention to probably the, uh, the Emerald who comes up behind this island again. Uh, who still needs that pay raise, Wargaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'll take him down to almost half health. And then uh, get some more shots in there. Doom's chiming in as well. So we're going to polish him off. Uh, next we have Nicholas the Elephant uh, coming at us. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of him here. So I'm aiming just down below. One of the things you have a hard time with the British light cruisers um, is that you can see uh, I'm getting ricochets uh, just because you need more of that side, you need more of that broad side to do uh, really significant damage. So um, it can be kind of uh, frustrating there. So I'm gonna leave that Nicholas to uh, Doom and the others coming down the midway. I'm gonna move into position to get set up for the Missouri, um, in particular, the Dallas that's gonna come out from behind the island, um, whom I missed with the torpedoes in that aggressive run earlier. So, you know, again, if I got the Dallas, you know, that would've been over 500K again with that. So definitely some room to improvement kind of with that, uh, getting the Dallas and that extra additional torpedo on Missouri, probably closer to that 550,000 uh, damage is maybe what we could have looked at there. Okay, so we're moving up here. The Dallas is about to appear. He's just started shooting at our ships, moving with the convoy. So there he is. So I guess some citadels there. And again, our secondaries are going to be able to work over a bit because we're so close. I'm keeping an eye on Missouri. You can see how three ships targeting me, uh, which is not good. Again, here in World of Warships, when you're dealing with bots, if you're on fire, uh, the bots will switch to armor piercing. <laughs> so you can see I was already angling away because I knew that was gonna come. Um, so the goal now is I'm gonna slow down, I'm gonna smoke up so I can focus on these cruisers still here, here in mid. Um, or sorry, I'm not gonna smoke up here. I'm gonna go around the island and smoke up to focus on the Missouri. So I'm trying to get whatever other salvos I'm able to get at uh, that cruiser in particular, because I want to help my team out. I don't want the cruisers to get too close. Uh, Doom is there, so that's why I'm a little bit more confident that he will be able to help out um, and take care of there. So we're using our concealment to get positioned over here a little bit more. You saw me looking at the torpedoes. I was just checking the torpedo range. So we've been detected. We're going to go ahead and pop smoke. Um, here you can see Missouri using his radar. Um, he's still not focused on us though. He's distracted uh, by someone else, which uh, is the best possible uh, scenario um, in my opinion here. Smoke screen set. So we got the torpedoes launched. Uh, the Dallas is the one who's targeting us. He could maybe just saw some shells uh, coming from the corner of the island. Um, so he's the one that's targeting us right now. So I'm gonna reverse a little bit. Maybe I can get the island between me and the Dallas a bit more. So these torpedoes, I did not lead enough. They're gonna be too far behind. Um, the Missouri kind of hits this like engine boost, almost, almost seems like, or it just goes full uh, speed when he comes around the corner of that island. Um, so that was a little bit of uh, pain there. Unfortunately, we lose Doom Beagle. Um, that's one of the things that catch destroyer players off guard who yellow the Missouri in the beginning uh, is the fact that he begins to speed up um, so that's a little bit frustrating, so frustrating for uh, Doom there. So we're still chilling out here. Um, you can see the enemy Lexington has already been detected on the map. Um, so we're nowhere near the position we were earlier uh, or in the aggressive uh, CV run. So we keep chiming away at the Missouri. Again, you want to respect the Missouri. Players who do not respect the Missouri are the players who tend to die. <laughs> Even though we were taking a bit of a chance there being detected by radar um, when the Missouri is coming around, but he's dead now. Our Colorado finished him off. Now the goal is to try to get some meaningful damage here on the Dallas. 
and I'm moving into that position I was talking about of how to deal with the Nicholas when he comes around the corner of that island. So you can give yourself time to kill him before he's able to get torpedoes off onto you or that you can more easily maneuver uh, away from them, um, as it were. So we're going to go ahead and use our heal because we're going to probably need to use a heal after we finish off with this uh, Nicholas uh, Phoenix in Lexington. So just roughly here, I usually try to aim for the top left corner of D9 is where I like to chill at. Um, I know he's coming. You can see the Lexington fighter plane is coming around. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and preemptively launch torpedoes against the Phoenix um, because I'm going to be using my port side torpedoes to deal with the Lexington when the time comes. So we're just going to chill here, get a nice 5,000k salvo here. There's no need for us uh, to rush up on a Nicholas. Um, we can play this more safer, taking our time to make sure to get rid of uh, the Nicholas here. Now apparently the Nicholas... Uh, did not use his smoke screen uh, in the harbor. Uh, so that is going to make this a little bit more difficult uh, because the Phoenix and them are still smoked up. Although we do get to see the Phoenix in that gap there and our torpedoes just miss the, the one to the right there. So the goal here for us is we want to deal with the Phoenix first and foremost. He's the one who can keep setting us on fire. He has torpedoes. He's the threat, and then we can deal with uh, the Lexington. I was hoping that the Phoenix would have eaten one of the Scorpedo sooner, so then I could have already begun to use uh, turn my turrets. They do take a bit of time to do a 180 degree turn here on the Fiji. So here you can see we can already actually use another uh, health. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop some torpedoes out here. Um, hopefully they're not all going to hit the exact same spot, but they're a little bit spread out here. Yeah, a little bit spread out, so the damage saturation uh, won't be so bad. Um, still 7,000 health on him, so we're going to aim on his stern, kind of in this uh, groove in that area right there to get uh, the pin damage through. Because if we're not aiming well, we can get some places where we might just uh, simply ricochet. So we still get some uh, Nicholas smoke here, as it were. Our teammates are beginning to arrive in the harbor. So it looks like, what, 20 seconds left on this smoke screen here. So I think we're probably gonna go ahead and move up and we'll probably go ahead and use one of our own smoke screens since that one's uh, about to dissipate, so. So we're gonna cut the throttle. We're gonna turn out so we can get all of our turrets on target here. I'm going to see if maybe we can't get the torpedoes off here on the Britanga. And we are safe, and we can start farming. So this is a safe position uh, to be able to shoot ships in the harbor from uh, versus the aggressive run uh, that I just showed you. So we're going to take our time. We're going to keep shooting him here. I'm getting a little greedy. Uh, I want to be able to kill the Phoenix, or Omaha, sorry. Because, as I said, he has a very vulnerable citadel. I mean, any tier 5 cruiser is pretty much a floating citadel. Our first salvo was a bit behind, so we try to lead a little bit more. Maybe we can get uh, a better salvo uh, or two in here. So, our torpedo is going to be too far ahead of the Britanga. I thought he kind of sped up a little bit. Um, so, unfortunately, um, he didn't quite do that. So, uh, we're going to have to put in the hard work here with our main battery guns. Um, and continue to whittle him down. So I'm aiming more up on the uh, upper belt uh, to an extent. Uh, we have decent penetration against him being a tier 4 battleship. Um, I believe the Pratenga is a tier 4 battleship. So, um, But now we're going to switch over to the Omaha. He's getting a little close and we could one shot him. I think that salvo might be a little uh, not leading enough again. Yeah, we completely missed. We weren't needing enough. So it goes down. We do take out the Nicholas. I didn't want him getting any closer to our ships. So again, we're trying to help out our team here. Not playing such a selfish, greedy one, uh, per se. So we get rid of him. Uh, the New York is making some good progress up into the harbor. So that's why I went ahead and I went use my torpedoes against him. But he just ate a massive chunk there from somebody. Not sure who. The Gallant, we don't have to really worry about here. He doesn't launch torpedoes uh, at the beginning here, um, but we are going to be able to do away with him rather quickly. 
again here we have Indianapolis and we're aiming for that gap uh, in the superstructure a little behind in the aiming there um, so we're gonna try that again that looks that's much better um, get the rear turrets going I probably could have turned even to get the rear turrets uh, in there more but to get to clip him for a little bit more damage before he goes around the side of the island Unfortunately, uh, he did incapacitate me with torpedo tubes, so I went ahead and uh, used the damage control party on that. Um, not sure if I needed to do that. And we're not in a bad position again. We get to utilize some of the broadside that the Atlanta and the Shores are showing us to be able to get some Citadel hits in here. Um, having the starboard torpedoes meant we could have dumped them um, into uh, the Queen Elizabeth here, but again, it's unfortunate. But you can see I'm on fire. I didn't respect uh, the cruisers. Once they set me on fire, they switched to AP or any of the ships will. Um, so we do indeed eat damage uh, for our uh, use of that damage control party earlier and not being able to put the fire out. However, we are able to uh, finish him off with some citadels. Here aiming towards the front stern of the ship to get some good damage in, a good 5k salvo. Unfortunately, one of our torpedoes misses of the three we launched. Another reason why uh, the set of four would have been nicer. Our damage control party just came off cooldown, so we're going to go ahead and use that. I think I was going to go try for a ram here, but then it was like, well, these torpedoes are actually about to uh, come off uh, reload, and we can use them. And that gets us the 402,000 damage with just a little bit health. Just all the health we needed uh, to play the game and not die and live till the end. So looking at post battle results, we are going to five star it. So that is fantastic. Um, we're gonna get uh, over 400,000 damage, four and 45 shell hits, 29 citadels, 11 destroyed, um, seven torpedo hits, and we get some achievements uh, in there as well. Can't quite remember the name of all of them because I don't play ops probably enough. <laughs> or I don't play them enough to be able to remember each of those achievements. So we're going to get over 2,000 base experience and topping the team. So it's good work by our team overall um, and how we were able to work and utilize. So it's nice to have a team that didn't just, uh, where we lose three or four of them before we get to the harbor. Here you can see the damage layout. Um, and basically, there could probably be three screens of the uh, showing you how much damage we did to each of the ships. With premium account, you can see where we ended at um, here on Narai. So, glad I had the post bottle results, at least for this map, uh, this match. So, I hope that kind of shows you the how to aggressive CV run and then the how to safer CV run. Um, and this is uh, the second safer run here. That's what I usually do, um, generally speaking. Um, it's cool to be able to say, hey, I broke five, 600,000 damage, but it's not as fun for the other players on your team uh, when you're soaking up all the kills <laughs> to a certain extent. Uh, so, you know, everyone gets, I guess, have a little bit more fun with the safer run versus the uh, greedy, <laughs> aggressive CV run. So if you liked today's video give it a thumbs up if you did not give it a thumbs down subscribe if you do want to see more if you subscribe thanks so much i really appreciate it and we'll catch you next time take care